A couple of Toronto Blue Jays are balking at playing their rent in their high-end Toronto condos. And Laura McQuillan is here this morning to tell us why their landlords are crying foul. Laura. Well, this is all about COVID-19. We're talking about Rowdy Telez, the first baseman for the Jays, and Mark Budzinski, who's the first base coach, uh, both saying that because of COVID-19 leading to the baseball season being suspended and them now being stuck in the US, they shouldn't have to pay up. Now, Telez is renting a condo off uh, a husband and wife couple. Uh, the wife of the couple telling us that he signed a lease back in January for this condo, paid the first and last months, but hasn't paid any more money since, despite being on a contract for more than half a million dollars a year. Now, in a legal letter from his lawyer to his landlord, they say that because the lease was entered into at a point when there was a baseball season and that it played for the Jays, uh, the lease should not be binding anymore. Now, when it comes to Budzinski, he paid his first and last month of rent, uh, plus his April rent, but he, he now actually wants all the money back. And he's taking his landlord to the tenancy board in Ontario, asking for the lease to be cancelled and asking for a refund of nearly $10,000. Uh, his lawyer writing to this couple and saying that because he can't legally enter Canada and hasn't even had the opportunity to pick up his keys, he shouldn't have to pay the rent. But the couple just want these uh, player and the coach to pay up and here is what their plea has been. I feel like being disrespected. We're landlords that are trying to make a living on our property and I could easily put it on the long-term rental market. I didn't do that. I gave it to him for six months on good faith because he's with the Jays and the trust level that goes with that. We're talking about the Toronto Blue Jays here. They're, they're a multi-billion dollar organization. So to have this happen, it, it, it doesn't sit well. Now, the couple pleaded with the Jays to help solve this problem, but haven't had any joy there. CBC News reached out to Telez, Budzinski and the Blue Jays. We haven't had any response to our request for comment from them, uh, but we do understand from Budzinski's lawyer there will be a hearing at Ontario's Landlord and Tenant Board later this month, and he will be bound by its ruling, Heather.